Today I want to begin a series of videos on the subject of the pre-tribulation rapture and why I believe that is the biblical position as opposed to pre-wrath or post-trib. And uh, so as I do this, I, I need to make this note that I'm coming at this position and these teachings from a King James only position. Um, and the reason I say that is because if you're watching this video or these series of videos and you are not given to the King James Bible, you are an advocate of the other translations um, that are out there today, ESV, New American Standard, NIV, so on and so forth. If you're an advocate of those translations, um, you're not going to get a lot of the things that I'm going to say because your Bible is going to say something different than what my Bible does. And I believe that if you get a King James Bible and believe every single word on the page, you'll be believing the right words. And so I'm coming from that position. Uh, so you're not going to hear me say things like a better translation would be. Uh, this is a mistranslation here. Uh, I'm not going to go to 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 2 and change the phrase the day of Christ to the day of the Lord. Um, uh, when it comes to Revelation 4 and 5, and we're looking at the 24 elders, uh, those who are given to the King James Bible will have a better idea as to their identity, uh, whereas those who uh, believe in the modern translations, you're going to have a little more difficult time figuring out who that crowd is. So I believe in just sticking to the King James Bible, getting from the Bible uh, what we need. And I believe if we do that and do it properly, appropriately, just believing the words on the page, I believe that uh, you'll be a pre-tribulation rapture advocate. Uh, now somebody's going to say, well, wait a minute, There's there are some King James only guys out there who do not believe in the pre-tribulation rapture. What about them? Uh, I'm going to say this as simply as I can. I believe that if you're King James only, but you do not believe in a pre-trib rapture. It's simply because you don't want to believe in the pre-trib rapture. The King James Bible is a pre-trib book. I actually had a non-pre-trib, um, non-King James only uh, man, teacher, who even uh, accused me of being a pre-tribulationist because I'm King James only. And I say amen to that. That's exactly right. Because I'm King James only, I am a pre-tribulationist. If you are King James only and you're not a pre-tribulationist, well, I hope after these series of videos you will be, first of all. But also, uh, I believe it's simply because you don't want to be. Um, now, some of the reasons why a King James only man doesn't want to be a uh, pre-tribulationist is... Well, there could be a number of reasons, but I think one of the main reasons is because a lot of these King James only teachers who are not pre-tribulational, they've given themselves to replacement theology. Uh, they've, they've had to mishandle uh, the Bible when it comes to the nation of Israel because they don't want to deal with Israel. Um, and there's various reasons, but one of the main reasons is they have given themselves to uh, the false doctrine of replacement theology. Uh, a very gross misunderstanding and the twisting of the verses found in Romans 9, 10, and 11. Uh, if you just let the King James Bible say what the King James Bible says, uh, if you will remove uh, the hatred that you have for the nation of Israel, now somebody may say, well, we don't really hate them. We want to see them saved. Uh, and I appreciate that, but... Uh, you need to do a better job of showing that you don't hate them. Uh, that's, that's part of the problem with the King James only guys who are not preacher relational and do not uh, want to deal with Israel scripturally. And they, they have given themselves to replacement theology. Uh, they may say they, uh, they want them to get saved. They want to see them get saved. Um, but uh, they don't do a good job showing it. So we're going to look at this from a King James only position. And I'm going to do my best to show why I believe the pre-trib rapture is the biblical position. Hope it's a blessing to you. Hope it encourages you, helps you. 
Uh, even if you don't agree with me, but you begin to study your Bible in a greater capacity, then, then I think a victory has been won. Uh, but I want to dive into the Word of God uh, with these series of videos. I hope none of them are very long. I, I want each of them to be rather concise uh, so that you can see the topic, see the issue, and then we'll move on to the next. And uh, So hope it'll be a blessing to you. Hope you enjoy these series of videos on the pre-tribulation rapture.